Okay, so we just watched the local con uh, local rig, what it does, and now we're gonna jump to see what it's a ghost control. So a ghost control is something related to local rigs, and basically it's one control that it's connected to another control in a local space. It means uh, scale, rotation, translation, local, connected. That's it. It's very simple, but it has um, like a very, it's very useful. So first, um, in order to do that, we can do it manually, but M Gear has a nice uh, model here called ghost that is meant to do that it has uh, this uh, function create ghost control that expects the name of the control that you want to create ghost and a parent so basically where is going to be the new control be parented so um, there is other like Doritos ghost and some other uh, functions but for the moment we just want to create the ghost control so basically I have here this scene that I prepare that I have this locator this locator is going to be the parent of the new control and the control that we have now it's just a control zero one very simple it's moving this um, uh, cylinder and the control itself the one that we have here is going to become ghost it's going to be cause this not useful I mean not useful <laughs> not use it and it's going to be another control that is going to take over this one so in order to do that it's very simple just import my model from mgear.rebit import ghost i also want well, import my model but to be honest doesn't doesn't need to be used here it's just for the next example and now ghost create ghost control the name of the control can be also pinot that it's this one and the parent that i want to use this the uh, locators the one so i'm just going to execute this and now what i have maybe noted that the old control is being named like ghost and i have a new control under locator with a neutral uh this is a neutral pose node just to create that this control is zero out so now it's all in the center but if it was in some side of the uh scene it will be a problem so I have this extra node here just to zero out the things so the big advantage now is that I can move this one and you see this is not moving but if I move the local of the control that has replaced this one look at that it's moving so you remember when we was uh, checking in the other video the uh, local rig that has one rig that is gonna stay in the center and then it's another rig that is gonna be moving around and it's gonna plug stuff but let's say this local rig that you have in the center is moving the eyebrows boop, 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 eyebrows and you want to have this local rig in your uh, scene center somewhere high and then you want the controls that move this go with the face so how you do that use ghost control so you rig it in place but then you create ghost controls that are gonna be attached to the head so when you move your head back and forward the control is following but indeed what it's doing it's moving another control so it's very simple I mean you can graph it on the node editor if anything is not needed but basically it's plugging everything <laughs> to the ghost control and and that's it just renaming and plugging all the main connections and it's doing something more under the hood like uh, handling your um, sets and things like that so for instance here my controller set you see the new control it's also under the controller set and this one because it's ghost it's not anymore on the controller set so as you can see this little command here it's creating more than what it looks at the beginning so if you, you can do it by hand of course but it's gonna be a little boring so that's it that's a ghost control it's very simple and let's move forward for the next one